Today I'm going to be working on the rear brake conversion. All right. So a few things that I need to do. Um, first of all, let me show you what I did to the rear rims on the new wheels. I had the backs of the hubs milled down to give me another eighth inch of clearance. So here's what the original, these are the fronts, and you can see it's got the little lip on here, right there, okay? And you can see how the lug backing is inset right there, an eighth of an inch. All that was shaved off. And this is what they look like. Completely milled down flat. So that took that hub in another eighth of an inch, which is going to set this wheel in farther uh, by an eighth of an inch in the fender. I know it's not much, but when you're talking about almost hitting, an eighth of an inch is everything. Okay, the rear brake kit, which you've likely already seen, is this kit here. The rear calipers. There's the other hub. Where's the other one? Oh, it's back here. So that's this. That's what's going on in the rear. Okay. For comparison, it's a little bigger. So I don't know if that means much, but uh, it's definitely bigger, and you have to make sure that the wheel will clear it. These are 15-inch rims. I know the 15-inch rims clear the front ones, so those are on and cleared. Comparison size, they should be the same. They're both 12 inch. Okay. So, should fit. Right? So, that's what I'm going with. So, anyway, also going to be replacing the rear axle seals. All of this has to come out again. I don't know how many times I've taken this off, like five or six times now. Um, but that's got to come off, take the C-clips out, run the axles out, swap out the seals, put the axles back in, take this entire backing plate system off of here, drums obviously, um, but the new conversion kit bolts to, I don't know if you can see it, but it bolts to this guy right here. Okay. things that uh, I wanted to show you guys is when you're taking this whole backing plate off you got to take your brake lines off and so on I squirt a little bit of WD-40 on that line fitting right there and then just work it back and forth because if you're not careful this line gets kind of locked up with it and you'll just twist this line up and snap it off and then you're in trouble so. So that's the idea, just get some WD-40, squirt it right on the line to get the fitting to come loose from the line. So that's what I'm doing right now.
holding weight. Might be holding weight. Harder than I thought it would be, but she's off. Goodbye, drum brakes. You know, I got this kit from the right stuff, okay? It's a rear brake conversion kit. But when you look at the instructions that they give you, what do you see? Rotors. Brackets for attaching the rotors to the front of the car. Hubs for the front of the car. Wheel bearings for the hubs. Disconnect front flex hoses. This is the instruction set for a complete front disc brake upgrade. And that's not the kit that I have. This is a rear brake conversion kit. I don't have the right stuff. I gotta look up the instructions because I, I wanna do this right. I'm pretty sure that I can put all this together without the instructions. I don't think that's a problem. But I want to do it right, I want to do it the right steps, and just take my time with it, follow it precisely. So, hopefully they got them online, so I'm going to look it up. Alright, I found the a PDF of the instructions online. It is saying to mount the recess side towards the flange with this plate on the outside. So that's going to be critical because that is going to judge where the caliper lines up with the rotor. Okay, 
So I'm going to get these on there. I'm just going to put it on kind of, uh, you know, halfway. Put the axle in, put the rotor on, and test fit the caliper and see where I sit. And by the way, you can't get the instructions for the right stuff conversion on the right stuff site. Turns out you got to go to JEGS. Try to save some money. You get people that are just you know, really care. I mean, this is good equipment. There ain't no doubt about it. This is well made. But I guess what it comes down to is people packaging the boxes with the materials. You know, put half a thought into it. Who goes over and grabs a front disc brake conversion kit and puts it in a rear disc brake conversion kit box? Open your eyes. Hey, I shouldn't gripe. I'm lucky to be able to do this kind of thing. So I should just keep my mouth shut. You know why I need these in the right way? Two bolts. Go that way. It's going to be easier that way, so that's what I'm going to do. You know, the other ones went the other way, but it's going to be a pain in the butt to tighten them down, so I'm going to do it this way. And we'll see if everything fits. So it just makes me waste a lot of time, you know, and not having the right stuff. It's funny, the right stuff. No pun intended there. I want to have the right stuff with the right stuff kit. I need to change your name. All right, I'll shut up about it and just do the work. got to do is they give you these guys here these not to the top of the axle right here
now I can get the pads in. I was trying to put the pads in with the caliper already mounted to here, and even though I got one in, it's a major pain in the butt. So. Because you've got to put these little clippies on here, and they don't stay on. So, you got to mess around with those guys a little bit. backs of these calipers have these little V-shaped springs on them that keep the pads pushed down. So you gotta put these bolts on the back of this thing. You gotta hold down on that caliper. Otherwise you could cross thread them. So make sure they go in easy. It's on. I gotta shim this right there so that it fits on the face of this just a little bit to bring this caliper more in center with the rotor. Oh, that's muchos better. So, let me show you the alignment. On the money. Looks good. So, let's see what I gotta do with the line. So, now I gotta figure out, I think I'm gonna put the mounting right here. I'm going to clip this spring off back here. Take this fitting, move it all the way back to here and uh, flare the end. And then I'll put my little mounting guy, sorry if I wasn't pointing at it, my little mounting guy right there. Put this right in back of it and then put my line from there to there. So that is next. Two copper washers. One goes on first. There, second one on there, sandwich. They are very susceptible to leaking. But, all right, so now let's see what this emergency brake setup looks like and see if that just hooks right in there. This seems to fit up in here, I believe. And then the other end goes right there. Question then. 
is which end do I use because one looks like it has an adjustment clip on it and the other one does not. So let me get you guys in a position so you can see what I'm doing. So I think I'm going to use this end that has these multiple little uh, slots there to put this clip on. Okay, finally got that off. Okay, and then this is going to go through that bracket that mounts right there. So let me All right, so once the brake is on, cable's in there. router down to there, put it in that bracket, and back to the original spot up above there. So now I'm going to try the wheel and see what the fitment looks like. Now that the rotor's on, which is twice the thickness of the drum facing. Okay, so let's see what we got. All right, now straight edge. Quarter inch clearance. Maybe it was better from this side. So let's throw a little weight on it and see how close it is, but it is definitely close. Got the rear brakes on, rotors, got the wheels on as well, and this side looks good, the other side, yeah. So I'll show you this first. So that's what that looks like. Clearance. Not terribly bad. It will fit up in there. I can put my pinky in it. Okay, 
and the inside, I've got a mile. I've got like an inch and a half room. I wish that these wheels come with a six and a half. What have I got? Five, a six inch backspacing. Would have worked beautifully. It'll fit, but it is super tight. Might have to shave the that part of that fender off right there. So this is nice and thin right here, and that fits in good. But I think you can see where they've done some work. So I think I'm going to trim that back and see if I can hold all this at the same time. to give you an idea and there I can get my pinky in but right there I just need to shave that I think from right there to right there and I think we'll be good I bounced on the car, it will not go up that high to that inner part of the fender because that absolutely will rub up in there. So the only thing I'm really worried about is just this part right here. So I will have to watch the bumps, especially going out of this drive because when you go up, up my street, They've built up the main street with an angle, and now you go up a ramp. And when you got to get on the street, you kind of got to go up a turn, and that's going to twist this differential. So I'm going to have to be real careful pulling out of here. Outside of that, they're on, and I am liking how they look. I'm very pleased. That looks super good back there. I like that a lot.